guys, we're going to do some wonderful, huge short ribs, otherwise known as dino ribs, on my pit barrel cooker coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm going to show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ. If you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and that bell next to it so you can get alerts on all what we're doing here. So what are we doing here today? All right, boys and girls, this is awesome. I want to give a shout out to Hottinger's Meats uh, in uh, Chino, California. They hooked me up with this awesome, awesome rack of dino ribs. Uh, or short ribs, but we'd like to call them dino ribs when you get cooked. They look like big old brontosaurus ribs. We're going to smoke it on the pit barrel. Um, probably going to take about four or five hours. Uh, I'm going to see how the temperature runs, and then we'll decide if we want to wrap them or not when they get to about 175, 180. We'll play it by ear. I'm not going to hang them on the pit barrel this time. I'm just going to put them on the grate. Uh, we're going to use the Kingsford wood chunks charcoal. So this is our hickory charcoal bouquets. So we're gonna use those. I'll show you that as we pour them in and get them ready. That short rack of short ribs. It's just three bones, plenty of meat. Uh, we use some JPAP on there and some JP Licious. So thanks to JP Barbecue for sending those out. As you'll see here, we're just gonna trim this little bit of fat cap off there. That fat's not gonna render down all that well. And it's gonna keep us from getting the seasoning to the meat underneath it. So that's why we're trimming off that bit of fat. And then we're going to cover it all over with the JPAP first. And then we're going to cover all sides with the JP Licious rub. All right, so you can see how it turned out. Nice and coated. We're going to build a nice solid bark on there. Uh, we're going to let it go for about two hours and then we'll give it a spritz if it needs to be. And we'll just see how it runs. All right, come on back. We'll get you on the pit barrel and we'll get this thing set up. All right, guys, we're going to get, we got our uh, charcoal briquettes in there already. We have these Kingsford Hickory charcoal briquettes, a little hardwood. We're going to give it a shot. We've got about 15, 20 coals in there. Once these get going for about 10, 12 minutes, we'll put them in the charcoal basket below, place the ribs on the grate. We've got my temperature probe for the grate, and we'll have a temperature probe for the ribs. All right, okay, these have been going. We're going to put them right in the middle. Bad boys on. Oh, that don't look good. Get this temperature probe right on the end over here. Get it nice and deep in there so we get an accurate reading. Drop that, just drop that right there. Get our rebars in there. All right. See you in a couple hours. Okay, guys. We're two hours in. I love you. We got a high, uh, we got a pool full of kids. Well, it's looking pretty good. Bark's forming real nice. Three hours in. This is a big old chunk of meat. Uh, that's what Mrs. CJ calls me. <laughs> uh, we're chilling about 150 right now internal. We'll keep cooking. The bark's setting up pretty nice. I spritz it down with just some water. No big deal. It's looking pretty good. All right, guys, this is four hours in. Got some decent pullback over here. Pardon the shadows if you see them. Got a nice, nice bark on there. I'm gonna let it go just another little bit and then we'll wrap it up. So I'm gonna pull the, this probe out. Pull one of these out. And we're gonna wrap this upside down. Okay. I have protective gloves on by the way, so. So you see it's coming off the bone, but I wanna get this part tender. So come over to my uh, bench over here and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so here's the deal. That tough part right there, we're gonna braise, okay? So we got some Shaka's mmm sauce. You remember this from the poor man's brisket video. All right, so we're gonna pour a healthy little pour of that in there. And then a little bit of water, just to dilute it a little bit. And I happen to have my Blackstone water just out here, so get those flies away. All right, 
So that just basically made it au jus. Now we're just gonna wrap it. The, the This part up is done, but we wanna get this part in the braze and wrap in, uh, you know, brazing. If it's not airtight, the world's not gonna come to an end, but I wanna make sure we got a good seal on there. Do our best with it. And we'll get this back on the pit barrel for another hour. We should be good to go. And we'll let it rest for a bit and then we'll slice into it. All right, come on back. It's resting for a little bit. We got dino bones, so we're gonna do caveman style. And we're using my Amazon Serbian chef knife to get this thing chopped up. All right, let's see here. All right, there you go. Jiggly, jiggly. <laughs> All right, so we got this bad boy raring to go. We're gonna cut these things up. Look, uh, I think I think we're good. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's check out this. All right. Look, oh my gosh! Look how juicy that is. Got the nice smoke ring right there. The little bits that fell off. Mm. Oh my, that's good. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> and there's your thumbnail. Alright guys. This is excellent. Look at the waterfall. Waterfall of juices coming out of there. Look at that little bite right there. It's got my name all over it. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm -mm -mm. Alright guys. This finishes up outside. Alright. This is excellent. Can't wait to finish this off. Thanks again to Hottinger Meats in Chino, California for helping me find these, these awesome short ribs. This is some good stuff right here. All right, guys. That's it. We'll meet you outside. We're done. I, obviously, I show you how we cut that bad boy up. We tried it. You know it was delicious. That bark was perfect. I'm so excited to be able to do this. Thanks again to Hottinger's for uh, finding this lovely piece of short rib rack of ribs whatever you want to call it for me uh i am too excited to get good stuff like that so thanks again guys appreciate you everybody else uh if you want to get one of these pit barrels the link will be down below in the description and i'll pin it in the comments make sure you do that also we have merch my teespring store links will be down below become part of cjs crew that way and then we got our patreon link it'll be linked right here couple tiers on there little ways to help out the channel little perks check it out sign up become official member of cj's crew all right that's it for this week thanks for stopping by thanks for cooking with cj take care